Okay, today's recipe is a refreshing twist on a classic household treat. We are making lemon brownies. These zesty lemon brownies combine the tanginess of fresh lemons with the rich buttery texture of traditional brownies. They're then topped with a simple lemon glaze to create the most irresistible lemon brownies. They are so, so good. So to start off, you wanna preheat your oven to 180 C or 350 F conventional and lightly grease an eight by eight inch square cake tin. Today I'm just using my homemade cake release to grease my tin and then you also want to line the pan with a piece of parchment paper that's long enough so that there's some overhang on two opposite edges of the tin. This is just going to make it so much easier to pull out the brownies once they're done. Now you just want to pop your cake tin aside for now and next we're going to sift together 150 grams or one and a quarter cups of plain all-purpose flour, 14 grams or two tablespoons of cornstarch, and half a teaspoon of salt. Once that's done, using a whisk, you just want to give that a good mix until it's well combined and set it aside for now. Now next in a large mixing bowl, you want to add in 250 grams or one and a quarter cups of white granulated sugar and two tablespoons of fresh lemon zest. Now when zesting the lemons, just make sure that you're only removing the very top yellow layer of the lemon and not the white part underneath because that white skin underneath is bitter and so we don't want that in our brownies. So once the lemon zest is in the bowl, you want to use your fingers to rub the lemon zest into the sugar until most of the sugar has kind of like a very light yellow tinge to it and this should take about 30 seconds or so. By rubbing the lemon zest into the sugar it's just going to help release more of the flavour from the lemon zest. Now that is looking good and you should be able to really smell the lemon flavour once you're done. Now to that you want to add in 170 grams or three quarters of a cup of warm melted unsalted butter. 13 grams or one tablespoon of unflavored vegetable oil. I use canola oil, two large room temperature eggs, 42 grams or three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then using a whisk, mix that together until it's well combined and smooth. Now to finish off, you just wanna add in your pre-sifted dry ingredients from earlier to your wet ingredients and fold that in with a spatula until just combined. It's very important not to overmix, so just mix until you can't see any more streaks or big lumps of unmixed flour. So that is our batter all done, so, so easy, and now you just wanna pour this into our pre-prepared cake tin from earlier. Your batter should be a little runnier than this, it's just that my butter has started to solidify because of the time that it's taking me to film this which is why my batter is a little thicker than it should be. Once that's done you just want to level out the top. I like to just give my tin a little shake and this helps to evenly distribute the batter and then you just want to drop the cake tin lightly on the counter two times just to get rid of any large air bubbles and now this is going to go into the oven for 22 minutes or until a toothpick comes out almost clean. So you want to have what looks like a very tiny amount of slightly undercooked batter or moist crumbs and this will just help to ensure that you have a nice fudgy lemon brownie that isn't overbaked. So my lemon brownies are all done now, they smell so so good and now you just want to leave them in the tin to completely cool which should take about kind of one to two hours. If you try and take them out too early then they most likely will break so you kind of just need to give them a little bit of time to solidify. So about one and a half hours later I'm just carefully running a thin spatula along the edges of the cake tin that don't have any parchment paper and then I'm just using that excess parchment paper that's hanging over the edges to carefully lift up the lemon brownie out of the cake tin. Now to finish off these lemon brownies we're going to make a simple lemon glaze which honestly just takes them to another level. So all you have to do is combine 125 grams or one cup of powdered sugar and 22 grams or one and a half tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. You want to have a relatively thick glaze that's still spreadable but if you feel like the texture is too thick you can add a little more lemon juice or if it's a bit too thin you can add a little more powdered sugar. Now you just want to put all of that glaze on the top of the cooled brownies and gently spread it out. I'm just using my offset spatula to do this but the back of a tablespoon will do the trick as well. 
Now you just wanna let this glaze set for about kind of half an hour to an hour or so. You should be able to touch the top without any of the frosting sticking to your fingers and then it is ready to slice and serve. These lemon brownies are just such a refreshing, bright, sweet treat to have and are bursting with so much lemon flavor. If you're someone who, you know, loves lemon desserts, then you absolutely have to give these lemon brownies a go. Mm. These are so buttery and fudgy and are just packed with so much lemon flavor. And I absolutely love the texture of these brownies. They're just like that perfect kind of chewy, fudgy texture. So, so good. So that is it for today, guys. If you do decide to give this lemon brownie recipe a go, then please do leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content out and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.